Hey everyone, in today's video I have a massive haul for you. It's been a minute since I filmed a video. We are filming today and I cannot wait to get back into the groove of things. I have quite a bit of products to share with you guys. I have products from TJ Maxx, Ulta, Sephora, um, the cosmetics company store and I also bought a couple products online that I want to go ahead and share with you guys today so buckle up get a snack get a drink i have a feeling this is going to be a long video if you like what you see on my face today i did film it i actually filmed it before i started filming this video i will have a link to that video if it's not already up i think this haul is going to go up and then this uh get ready with me is going to go up after so stay tuned if i haven't already put this video up but i'm just letting you guys know this is going to be a upcoming video you will see i love the way this looks so i had to film another video for you guys but yeah let's just go ahead and get in today's video if you are not already subscribed though i would hope you would consider subscribing my name is april i try to do as many videos as possible if you like what you see don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like i said go ahead and subscribe now let's go ahead and get into this haul Before I share with you the products that I have with me today, I do want to let you guys know I do have a order coming in that hasn't came yet, but I did want to go ahead and share with you guys what it is just because I want to get this video filmed and edited and uploaded for you guys. But I did go ahead and I placed a small Sydney Grace order for some single eyeshadows. Now, I for the first time well no not the first time it was the first time getting single eyeshadows last year when she had the Christmas in July sale um, before that I had got the Mel Thompson palette that one I loved and then I, that's when I got singles but I have not used those singles yet <laughs> you guys I am so bad I don't know why I keep on buying single eyeshadows I hardly go through it but I will try um, the single eyeshadows that I have but yeah I wanted to go ahead and get a couple more just because I have been eyeballing these uh, single eyeshadows for a while so I thought this would be the perfect time to get it since I was getting um, a discount I forgot I don't know if it was 30 or 35 percent off but let me just go ahead and tell you what I got I got six shades I got three mattes and three shimmers so the first one I got is a matte and it's in the shade San Diego this is just a pretty neutral color the next one I got is tippy taupe and this is also a matte um, formula this is a darker color and then I did get hot stuff this is I'm not 100% sure um, if it's a metallic or if it's a special shade but I know it's not a matte shade the next one I got is the greatest gift again it's either a metallic or a special shade but it's not a matte and then the last non matte eyeshadow that I got was in the shade blondie those three um, hot stuff the greatest gift and blondie are really popular so I wanted to go ahead and try it out and then the last um, uh, matte one that I got is in chocolate kiss so those were the eyeshadows, the single eyeshadows that I got from Sydney Grace. I am waiting for those. As we speak, it did send me a notification earlier today that it was on its way. So I cannot wait to have those in my possession. I did want to go ahead and get one of her uh, empty palettes, but they were all sold out. So I couldn't get it. But yeah, let's go ahead now and jump into the products that I actually have with me now. Okay, let's start with Ulta since I only have one thing that I got from Ulta and it is what I have on my eyes today. Can you guys take a guess what it is? <laughs> I'll give you guys a couple seconds. Can we guess? What is it? What is it? I'll even get close so you guys could see. I love the way this looks. <laughs> I'm talking about the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. This I have never had before and I wanted to go ahead and pick it up and I'm so glad that I picked it up because I love the way my eye look turned out. They say it's limited edition, but I don't know. We will see. Hopefully, they'll keep it around. If you've never tried it like me, I highly recommend to pick it up if you want it, especially since it might be discontinued again. But this is what the color story looks like. It does have a brush, but I put the brush away. Oh, yeah. It has a brush like this because I did use the one side of it. Um, 
these blend so good on the eyes i did mention in the video that this is a very 2016 eyeshadow palette the metallics they're okay i did have to i used my finger first and then i used a brush after i sprayed it because it just didn't give me the pop that i wanted to but it still is a really good uh, palette the mattes are amazing i love the way like i said this look came out the only thing that i'm not crazy about is that it only has three or two now that i'm looking at it yeah i thought it had no uh, like maybe is this a matte or is this a yeah this is a matte so it has three mattes and the rest are shimmers i'm not crazy about that but i can get over it because like i said this eye look that i got out of it is amazing so yeah i really do like this one so far i can't wait to play with it some more moving on to tj maxx i got quite a bit of products from there i did find this uh makeup revolution and emily in paris highlighter um this one i got for 5.99 i don't know if you can see i didn't even i wasn't even interested in this highlighter but then i seen one of my favorite og youtubers uh, Casey Holmes she talked about this and I was like all right I gotta get it because <laughs> anything she talks about I get <laughs> um, but yeah I ended up getting it because of her so this is like I said what it looks like I didn't get it the first time just because it looks like this it's one of those ombre colors but it looked really pretty on her so I decided to go ahead and pick it up but so far it does look really pretty and then the next thing I got I got oh I almost broke something I got these uh, original makeup eraser uh, seven day set it's just the little ones it just looks like this and it comes with seven of them um, the reason why I got these is because I love these to take off my makeup what I'll do at the end of the day is I'll put a balm on my face i'll i use the pharmacy one and then i get one of these and i wet them and then i'll take off my makeup but i liked it these ones i liked these ones because they're small so what i got this one is so that way i could take off my eye makeup separate from the bigger makeup erasers just because when i have metallic on my eyes or shimmer whatever and i use the big makeup eraser for everything I get that shimmer metallic on my face so I wanted to go ahead and get these because they're little and I could just use them strictly for my eyes to take off my makeup and these have seven for seven uh, and it being $9.99 it's actually not too bad of a price and then the last couple of things that I got from TJ Maxx they're all from Pat McGrath and you guys these just came out last holiday I got three of the holiday collections from 2023 <laughs> so let's start with this one this one is the um be Bijoué, i don't know brilliance eyeshadow palette in um lunar nightshade i believe um i do have one of these in my collection i'm not crazy about it but for 12.99 i was like yes i'm gonna go ahead and try it but yeah um let's see this is what the color story looks like. This is so pretty. I love the way these colors look. So we will see. Hopefully I like it. These are all shimmers except for this one in the middle. It is a matte. Um, but yeah, got that. And then I did get this um, Divine Blush Bronze and Glow Trio. This is in Nirvana in Bloom. Again, packaging just looks like this. I got this one for $14.99. This is what it looks like. So, um, the bronzer is Bronze Nirvana. The blush is Sunset Bloom. And then the highlighter is Lotus Nectar. Now, I do have the bronzer, um, Bronze Nirvana, in my collection already. But it's okay. Um, I want to try the rest of the trio out, but yeah i did pick that up and then the final thing that i got from the pat mcgrath collection and from tj maxx this is the uh mothership dang it's so hard to read because it's the writing is so little 
Jewel Temptation. I'm not exactly sure. It's the darker one. This one I got for $19.99. I can't see because it's a little messed up, but they do have two different color stories. The other one I'm trying to look for, but I haven't seen it, and I haven't seen anybody talk about it. This is the only one that I've seen people talk about, but I decided just to go ahead and pick it up because it still was pretty, um, but ooh, this is pretty. This is, again, up with the packaging looks like and then this is what the inside of, inside looks like so it comes with nine eyeshadows and two blushes the blushes are desert amber and paradise venus paradise venus is the bottom one so i do i believe i have paradise venus which is that one i believe um but i'm not 100 percent sure but this is a pretty color story. It's a little bit dark for what I like, but some of the shimmers are really pretty. So I thought, you know what, what the heck, let me just go ahead and get it. For $19.99 is not bad at all. But that was everything from TJ Maxx. Let's move on to the online order that I do have in my possession. So last year, I was finally able to try um, the Indie Band Blend Bunny Cosmetics, and I fell in love. The Lure palette was the first palette that I got from her and that was actually my number one palette for 2023 and ever since then I've been wanting to get all her eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I actually have four more eyeshadow palettes in my cart that I want to get but I did go ahead and I picked up two because I wanted to support the brand and these were on a discount. You know. I, these, first of all, Maggie is the owner. I don't know who she is. She don't, doesn't know who I am. But she just seems like a nice, genuine person. She stays in her lane. She doesn't talk bad about anybody. She doesn't fight with anybody. She's just a nice person, it seems like. Um, so, and yeah, I wanted to go ahead and just support her. And her makeup, oh my god, I wish I could do eyeshadow like the way she does. She is so bomb when it comes to doing her eyeshadow, just makeup in general, but she really knows how to do her eyeshadow really good, and she's very pretty. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and support the brand and get a couple more palettes. I did get two more palettes. These were on a discount. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I did get two. Um, I did try reaching out to her, well, the brand's Instagram, to see if I can get a non-affiliate discount code for you guys, but I haven't heard back. So, regardless, I'm still going to support the brand, and hopefully, if you guys have a like a favorite influencer out there, check to see if they have a code with Blend Bunny, because uh, you can get a discount. And two, I also forgot to mention that... When she has something on sale, you can also use um, a discount code on top of that. So that's really, really nice of her to do that. But anyways, this is the Dollhouse palette. Just looks like this. It does come with the big mirror, and then this is what the color story looks like. One of the palettes that I want that's in my cart, it went on sale today. <laughs> But I was like, no, April, you already bought a lot. Just wait. There's going to be more sales. So hopefully, maybe if she keeps it on sale for a couple more weeks, I can get it. But it's the Sickly Sweet palette. I think that's what it's called. It's the one that came out for Halloween last year, the colorful one. I want that one. That's one of the um, palettes that I want. But that is on sale right now. And then the other one I got, I wasn't eyeballing this one. But like I said, I wanted to get as many eyeshadow palettes from her as possible. Um, so this one was on deep discount. This is the Machina palette. I think I'm saying that correctly. This was on sale for $20 when I got it. And then when I went on the website today, it was on an even bigger discount for $15. <laughs> so if you've been eyeballing this, now is the time to get it. And I also believe that they're going to discontinue this one. So, which is unfortunate, but this is what it looks like. Oh, the packaging is so cute raised a little bit now this is a palette that she was working on with her um, father he recently passed away I think her mom passed away first and then her father did um, but yeah this is one of the projects that they were working on together so I know this is very uh, special for her um, but this is what the color story looks like again it comes with the big mirror so for this one yes it has color yes it has reds and it has blues like the blues i could do i could deal with the reds uh, we'll see 
um but i feel like i just i can use this palette it's so nice i like the way it looks so that was the two palettes that i got from blend bunny cosmetics like i said i want four more that they have i want the sickly sweet i hope i'm saying that one right and then i want the newest one uh i forgot it starts with an l and then uh what is the other one uh the more neutral one uh i forgot <laughs> and then the blends the colorful one so yeah, I still want a couple more. Hopefully I can get my hands on them. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the makeup. Moving on to Sephora. I did get quite a bit of products from Sephora. This is not new. It is a um, repeat. Like I wanted the full size. I had the small one and I want the full size. So I went ahead and got it. I got the one size. This is the On Till Dawn Mattifying, Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I really like this, you guys. It's up there with my um, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, but this is really nice. I do like it. The only thing I don't like is that it's in this kind of packaging, but it's fine. It works. I like it. And then I am wearing this blush today. It's pretty subtle, but I like a subtle blush, especially if my eyes are um, either really smoky or really colorful. I did get one of the Fenty Beauty uh, Fenty Cheek Suede Powder blushes i did get it in the shade bacon cakes zero one this is just a really ooh, really pretty neutral color i don't know why i'm like almost dropping everything <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like now i don't like how the packaging is like this but i could get over it and then this is what the color looks like it's just a pretty neutral color like i said like that's pretty true to color love it so much and then i wasn't even gonna get this but when i was checking out it was right there so i was like you know what let me just get it i do like the color story even though they're repeat shades and um but i was like i have most of them so let me just get it i'm talking about the natasha denona mini rose palette just looks like this i'm not gonna take it out of the packaging it's just a simple rose shade palette and there are repeat shades but it is what it is i still wanted it and then finally the last thing from sephora so i wasn't gonna get this but then i seen um the lipstick gal i think that's her name on there um she was talking about it and she convinced me to get it <laughs> so this is from ysl this is the love shine candy glow lip product i got it in the shade 6b brown nude now i wasn't gonna get this because when i went in store the colors didn't really look cute and then when i swatched it i saw that it was starting to turn a different color these are supposed to be like the ph adjusting product i don't know if that's correct but um so that's why i didn't get it this is what the packaging looks like but then i heard her talk about this specific shade and she said that this doesn't change it's true to color the whole time so i was like perfect okay i'm gonna go ahead and get it this looks pretty dark in the packaging and on camera but once you swatch it out it's pretty sheer it's like not sheer but i could get down with it you see like that's a pretty color i like it so i'll try this hopefully it doesn't change but i believe her because i know she doesn't like the ph adjusting formulas but i wanted to go ahead and try it so now let me go ahead and get the last bag and it's going to be from the cosmetics company store hey okay, guys finally the last bag is from the cosmetics company store so i did go um well they actually gave me this lab series oil control oil control moisturizer just a sample never tried this never heard of it and then the rest of the products i did buy so i needed to buy a product in order to I think they were saying like if you buy three lip products or if you buy three yeah if you buy three you get something free I'm not 100% sure but I just grabbed it just because it was the cheapest thing but this is the Smashbox photo finish primerizer plus plus hydrating primer it just looks like this so that I'll go ahead and test that out uh two I forgot to tell you guys um as I'm filming this, it should still be going on when I upload, but the cosmetics company store is doing their 6 for 60, which I'm surprised because they just had it not too long ago. So they are doing it again, and I don't know how long it's going to last for, but I just want to go ahead and let you guys know 6 for 60 is going on. It doesn't apply with Tom Ford products. 
I'm not sure if anything else doesn't apply, but I know for sure Tom Ford is not included in that six for 60. So I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know. And then I think I got this one for free, if I'm not mistaken. This is from MAC, and this is the Glow Play Lip Balm, and I got it in the shade 452 That Tickles. Um, I'm surprised it was there already, because if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that this is fairly new. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and try it. So I did go ahead and pick it up. This is what the packaging looks like. Uh, hopefully I can show you guys without dropping it. And then that's what the color looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch it. Huh, it's almost like the one from YSL, except this one from MAC. I already got it dirty. Uh, the one from MAC is a little bit more pigmented. So the one from MAC is the one on the bottom. And then the one from YSL is the one at the top, but the formula looks almost the same. <laughs> and then, okay, the rest of these are um, Tom Ford products. <laughs> so I did go ahead and I picked up this Tom Ford Slim Lip Color Shine Lipstick, I guess. This is in the shade 100. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is also fairly new too, so... Um, I was eyeballing it before, but I was like, no, you know me. I don't buy anything Tom Ford unless it's at the CCO. <laughs> um, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's just really slim and thin. And then this is what the color looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch it next to the one from MAC. Man, these look pretty similar, all three of them. I'm not even going to lie. So the bottom one is the one from Tom Ford. It's, it is a little bit darker. But yeah, I went ahead and I got that and then you guys I cannot believe this is already well th the last three products I'm about to show you I'm surprised that they're already at the cosmetics company store I did find this cream blush I believe this was from the uh, Valentine's collection either this year or last year but I'm pretty sure it was this year this is in the shade 01 Caf cafe blush I believe that's how you say it this is what it looks like really pretty packaging I don't want to swatch it yet, but I think it's a cream. It's cream, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a cream color, but that is what it looks like. Oh, so pretty. And then the last two things that I got from the cosmetics company store, I got two quads. So, you guys, I am freaking so shocked that these were already there. One of these, I believe, is like really new. Um, I don't know. I think, wait, actually, they're both from the same collection, if I'm not mistaken. So let me just go ahead and tell you guys. So I did get this one in 45 Iconic Smoke. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm fairly sure this just came out, oops, this year. I'm not 100% sure when. But that is what this color looks like. And then the other one is... 46 ember bronze now you know she supposedly she he or whoever owns tom ford now um i've seen pictures of quads that are supposed to be coming out pretty soon i think they've came out already in the uk i'm just gonna wait until they come to the cosmetics company store because they're gonna come there anyway so <laughs> i'm gonna wait but that is what the other color story looks like but yeah really pretty palette or quad I mean but yeah that was everything that I got at all the stores including the cosmetics company store all right you guys that was my haul for today I hope you guys enjoyed it oh, man I'm so tired <laughs> I filmed two videos today I got ready and my husband's making dinner right now I'm starving oh I gotta go make guac right now so yeah I'm gonna let you guys go but before I do if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And until the next time, I will catch you guys later. Bye.